Now then, how we doing as we're back for this massive game against Manchester United. As if the last game wasn't big enough, we managed to scrape a 2-2 draw after going 2-1 up. We basically were our own worst enemy in that one, weren't we? Let's be honest. As we give away two fairly simple goals, aim for them was just incredible, you know. And Signorelli for us kept us in the game. So yeah, we're at the Tommy Walker Arena today. Massive game against Manchester United, like I've just said. This is our opportunity to push on again. Or by the end of this episode, we could be out of the Champions League and that dream is over. But before we get to that dream potentially being shattered, let's have a look at our performance between episodes. So we had a 6-0 victory against Hamilton, absolutely smashed them. Team performance-wise, absolutely incredible. Signorelli with a goal, Albanos with a goal. Van Ugen with two and Hadidi as well, you know. 25 shots, 12 on target, and that was in the Scottish Cup. Then a lucky 1-0 victory over Dundee. Well, I say a lucky. It was lucky because we got a goal. Because Dundee held on for the majority of it. Their goalkeeper only got a 6.6. .6. Kind of says how poor it was. Daryl Court missed the penalty on 8 minutes. Signorelli on 21. Dundee were never really in the game. Once we got the goal on 21 minutes, it was routine. And we've been absolutely smashing teams. So a 1-0 victory is an underperformance, I'd say. Then back to our normal ways as we win 4-0 against Celtic. 20 shots, 9 on target. Caught with a goal on 21, 38 and then 55 getting a hat-trick. And Signorelli on 29 minutes. Celtic actually had 57% possession in this one and didn't do anything with it. Then a 5-0 victory against Kilmarnock. Albanos with 2, Brudese with 1, Caught with 2 as well. So both my front men getting 2 in this one. Signorelli was rested, Albanos stepped in. He's done quite well in fairness since he's come back in. When we look at this guy's form, he scored four in his last two games, so not bad going for him all. And that'll probably see him start today's game. But they made a 2-0 victory against Hamilton, and this was Albanoz's last two goals. So goals on 24 and 86, getting us the win there. So as it stands then in the Premier League, we've got 93 points on the board. We're 21 points clear of Celtic, and we've played a game more. So yeah, the league is about done as far as I'm concerned now. A couple more wins and it's game over. So looking at the results so far for this knockout state, some teams have gone out and there's some, been some major upsets as Ajax won 3-0 at the Mestalla to go through 3-2 on aggregate. Sporting lost again as Arsenal won 3-0 against Sporting to go through 3-2 on aggregate. Porto go through an aggregate against Real Madrid. Man City have won against Lyon as well. So 4-0 on aggregate there. PSG are currently 1-1 with Spurs. Atletico Madrid 0-0 with Inter. Benfica are losing 3-2 to Barcelona. And we're 2-2 with Man United. So let's get into that game. So team selection wise, this is how we're going to line up. So with Ortiz in goal, Ramirez, Hidalgo, Taksinowski and Pereira at the back. We're going to push Pereira out there or are we? Do we go with Juan Cuarto? We're going to go with Juan Cuarto. He knows what he's doing. We'll put him out there. Ayodele and Croman in the middle as, as Horobine is suspended. But again, you know, I might go Lopez in the middle instead of Croman. Then we've got Adidi and Van Ugin out wide. And then Court and Signorelli up front. Again, do I maybe bring Stahl in? There's a lot of changes there. We're going to leave it like this, guys. We're going to push forward with this selection. So from the social roundup then, Conor Nichols says Lopez starting is a terrible call. I don't think so. I think he's the right choice instead of Croman. Gary Quintango says taxing out his quality has to start every game. And Bella Wardrobe says we're really suited to this formation. You know, we went for Zinfalino as the man to watch. It It ended up not being him who was the man to watch. In the end, like I say, we pointed him out. It just weren't happening. As we're going to play the 4 2 4, we'll be very interesting to see if they line up with the one up top again. Which to do. Not much change to the team we played in the first leg. We are at home now. Come on. 90 minutes, the dream could be over. As Hadidi's puck up a knock straight away. What's going on there? Potential foot injury. So it looks like Dusak's probably going to come on. Hadidi's not happy about it neither, so we're going to have to make a change. And Dusak, not even on the bench. Not ideal. That didn't work out well for me there. Estelle's going to come on and go out on the other side then. So Lopez with a corner. Ball in, cleared away. Barr picks it up and he goes and it's Rossi. We've got plenty of players now around him. It's Ramirez. That is tidy. Juan Cuato to Van Ugen. Ortiz on it. Can we work it out from the back nicely? Into the midfield. That is poor. Zinfalino picks it up. The guard wide to Rossi. Has a crack and that is poor. We escaped the first highlight. But there is another one straight away on 19 minutes. Lopez gets it clear again. Mergier to Zinfalino. Up on Meccano. On a yellow. We haven't got a yellow card yet. I suppose that's a start. As Mariga to aim. Stop that ball into the box. It's quality from Juan Cuato though. 
Van Usen. There's been some solid defending, but we don't really have any options. And that, I thought, was going to be a danger ball then. as caught down to Signorelli and we don't get there. They're looking strong in the midfield so far. Defensively, we've looked okay. We dive in again. Juan Cuato with another solid tackle. Ball over and lost in the midfield as Iodelli picks it up. We're first to the second ball. Caught down. It's a great touch. Ramirez. It's poor though. This highlight as we're just waiting for that ball over the top. Iodelli robs him. It's a bit scrappy. Signorelli gets in. Ramsdale has made an absolute mess of it. He's more or less dived into his net and the ball's made it in. That was a lengthy highlight as we were both battling for possession. But Van Ugen with the ball through. Signorelli who else? And Ramsdale's made a right mess of that. But we're 1-0 up. That's the big thing. We've got two away goals as well. So even if United score again, we're still going through on away goals. To corner ball then. 36 minutes gone. Odegaard with it in. Get it clear. Ramirez does. But we run away from it. Ross is there. We need to chase them down. Rossi with the ball in. Odegaard across. We've fallen asleep and aim has scored. Is that... Don't be... I was going to say Rose at the back post. He's not. It's going to be Juan Cuato. We have fallen asleep. You know, that was our ball all day long. As Rosa puts it in. Odegaard knocks it on. What are we doing there? We... Who is it? It's Juan Cuato. Of course it is. He's been solid so far. And as a highlight from kickoff. Oh, guys, get hold of it. Lopez to Signorelli. They dive in and we're out of possession again. Aim on it to Mergia. Ball through to Kulosevsky. Nothing silly here, please. Ball across. That's a great tackle from Saksanowski. They're appealing for a penalty, but Van Ugen's on his way. Ball over the top. Court's going to pick it up. He's in the middle of their defenders. That is poor from Court. He gave me false hope. Corner ball then, Lopez. In, cleared away, and bars on it again. We may have to go more defensive on the corners here as they break. We've all backed off. What are we doing? Bars ran the length of the pitch. He's got player three in the middle, and oh, Ortiz just about holds on. He could have carried that over the line, but it's free for an aggregate. But we're still going through on away goals. Four minutes of the first half to go. Van Ugen on it then. Ball back to Taksinowski. And we go back to Ortiz. It's nervy. As Stahl picks it up. Ramirez. Go on. Ramirez still going. Can he beat his man? Ball through to court. It's a great one too. Ramirez has got plenty of time. Stahl. Oh, we may have lost a bit of momentum. Ramirez then. What can he do with it? Ball across and it's right at Ramsdale in goal. He holds it well. I reckon his highlight's going to go on. As Ramsdale goes long, it's got to be our ball. Get to it. Ayodele there. Stahl. They're putting a lot of pressure on. As we're doing fancy back heels and stuff, none of that, please. Caught through to Signorelli. From distance, it's off the post. Who was that? I think that might have been Stahl. As it's a throw-in for us. What a shot that was. Throw-in there, Juan Cuato. Ball in, headed clear. And they may break away again as Yao Felix. Look at the players down here. Rossi. Yao Felix, ball over Ramirez. We are solid. Just no sillies. We need to keep concentration as Lopez then picks it up. Ball over the top to Signorelli. Go on, Maxi lad. Get in. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. 2 1 now. If Man United score again, obviously there goes the away goals as we'll score two away goals each. But it's crack and play. Signorelli's. What a player he is. Through the middle of their defenders. Into the far corner. Ramsdale, no chance. There is another highlight that we've got three minutes of stoppages and we're just about to tick into them. As up on Meccano to aim again then. Kulisevsky. Zhao Felix. Rossi. Oh my god, the reef scored straight away. It's 4 4 now as we just tick over into stoppage time. Honestly, literally a highlight straight away as I thought we were going to go in 2 1 up. Here's me saying that's got to be it. And they score. If they get another away goal now, he gets nervy. It's Benfica a 1 0 up against Barcelona. And at half time, it's 2 2. What a massive 45 minutes coming up. Dressing room wise, then, what do we do? We've been unlucky so far. Tactically, we're at home. We're at home. What do we do? Caught on a 6.5. Albanos is going to come on up front. I don't think there's any more changes to make, as all the attacking changes have happened now. That is it. So we're going to go. 
Defensively, I don't think we need to do anything. Yes, we've conceded two goals and that isn't ideal. But it's we've had a fairly decent first half. There is a highlight. We have looked solid. I don't know how I can say that when I've just conceded two goals. But Albanos picks it up. Can he be the difference? Albanos to Signorelli on a hat-trick. And he's missed. He's missed. Time stood still for a minute then. He's put it wide. Signorelli on a hat-trick. Panic scores for Barcelona. Love to see it. As Benfica actually took the lead in the six minutes of first half stoppage. Right, I have got another change to make. Do I do it now? I don't think so. I'm going to leave it a bit longer as Odegaard then with the ball in. Get it clear. Oh, it's over the bar from Upper Meccano. As we carry on going into the last 15 minutes, Ortiz is on a 6.6. .6. I don't think it was a, to blame for any of the goals. Last change and where do we go with it? Parada's going to come on for one Quato. That's the way to go. And there's another highlight as soon as it continues. Here we go. Ball in. Get it clear. Great header from Ramirez. We go again. Albanos to Taksinowski. Albanos needs to get forward. He does. We see him there at the bottom of the picture running forward. Ball through to Signorelli. Has he got an option? There's so many Man United players about. Van Ugin to Lopez. Have a crack. It's blocked. And now Kulisewski brings it away. Surely does not counter on from this. Rashford. Get a foot in one Quato, absolutely solid. As Parada now comes on, as Barcelona are two and up, Clerk with a goal there. Parada with the throw, Van Ugin, any late drama, he's been brought down, referee! Penalty shout in the 80th minute. Drama, as we go into the final seven. Lopez then. Ayordelli, we've got so many tied players, we're playing our socks off here. Albanos go in. He goes out to Parada. Lopez, have a crack, oh he scored, Harold Lopez with the goal, fourth goal of the season, it's an absolute worldie on the 84th minute, the United fans behind the goal are absolutely stunned, we see it again, Parada, Lopez has got plenty of time, has a touch and whips into the top corner, 3-2 now, another way goal and we go out and there is a highlight, you know United score again, it's game over. Parade to Van Ugin, as it will open up. Get hold of it there, Albanoz. Van Ugin again. He's running. Signorelli's got to wrap it up, and he does. There we go. Where we go. It's 6-4, 4-2 on the night. Signorelli with a hat-trick. Nothing to worry about. A fourth there. We turned over possession. Albanoz the quickest on it. Van Ugin across Signorelli. What a player. And there we go. We've got four minutes of stoppages. Unless there's some really, really late drama where they get a couple of goals now. That should be it. As Rashford through. We dive in. And they've scored. They've scored. It's lucky we've just scored. It's now 6-5. There's literally a minute and 30 seconds of stoppages. Oh, my days. As we get to see it again. Oh, Rashford scores. Can you imagine if we hadn't have just scored? No more, please. End the game. Blow the whistle. And there we go. 4-3 tonight. 6-5 on aggregate. Christ, that 93rd minute goal from Rashford could have wrought us off. There we go. That was a bit of a let off. Let's be honest. We struggled there. Dear, oh dear. But we get through as Barcelona win 2-1 against Benfica on the night. 5-3 on aggregate. Jack Richardson Martin says, just got back from Ash. Did not see that coming. What a result. Carsten Peterson says, I've seen Signorelli have better games. That's how silly all of this is. Don't be daft. He got a hat-trick. Won us the game. Single-handedly pulled us through. As the DD's out for one to three days. We get 8.68 million for the win. Signorelli catches the eye. He scores goals for fun. And that is it. So, there's another set of games to come, which we'll have a look at now. And then we'll come back for the draw. So, the last two games of this stage. And he's Inter against Atletico Madrid. And Tottenham against PSG. Come on, Spurs. And Spurs go out on penalties to PSG. Atletico Madrid go through the way goals against Inter as well. So here we go then. The draw for the quarter-final and semi-final of the Champions League. Let's go. So teams left in it then. Atletico Madrid, Ajax, Arsenal, Barcelona, Porto, Hearts, Manchester City and PSG. Is there anybody I don't want? Probably Barcelona. That's about it for me if I'm completely honest. So let's draw the teams. So Ajax come out against PSG. Barcelona against Porto, Manchester City against Atletico Madrid, which means we get Arsenal. There you go, guys. I don't think we've played Arsenal before, so that's a first for us. So yeah, Arsenal in the next round. Who do we get in the semi-final? And let's have a look at the draw for that one. So either ourselves or Arsenal will be drawn against Manchester City or Atletico Madrid. 
In the other semi-final, then it's going to be either Barcelona or Porto against Ajax or PSG. So there we go then, guys. That is it. What a draw that is. Arsenal in the next round. I'll take that in the quarter-final. So where are you going to join me next then? So for me, I think we've got to come back for that Arsenal match, haven't we? I don't think there's any more games really to be playing now. So Arsenal away from home, first of all. So that's where you'll join me next then, guys, as we take on another English opponent, this time in the quarter-final of the Champions League. So as always, it's been emotional. Stay safe, and I'll catch you later. ta -ra.